sometimes in my homilies I tell the people, the church is like a, a, a just a treasure chest. There's so much for each one of us. Just grab as much as you want and keep coming back for more. I understand at one time there were like 3,000 children in the grammar school. That was early 1900s, 1920s. Every room was just filled with debris. Every window in the basement of the church was boarded up. Some of the doors to the church on the lower level were boarded up just for security and nailed shut. It was like a ghost down here. The school went from 3,000 down to 400. So that's how many parishioners were taken out just with Ogden Avenue going through. And then in the late 60s when the Kennedy went through in 94, they lost another 800 families. So many people said that the expressways would kill all these parishes. And yet I always thought, well, if they take people away, they could also bring people here just as easily. Time and time again, the young people are here because they've seen the traditional Mass or the way the new Mass is celebrated. People that were only going to the old Mass come to the new Mass. People are only going to the new Mass coming to the old Mass. They're attracted to it. It's showing people that the beautiful things of the church in the past, and so many people are hungry for that, young people as well as the older people that remember when they used to have that. Do you have pigeon coops above the nave of the church? I said, no. It's, it's a treasure of, of inestimable value. Because this is the house of God, it's not man's house. It's that mixture of uh, being open to, uh, to the full treasure of the church. But the pigeons left 10 tons of their droppings in our church attic. Mechanically, the parish probably would have closed by itself. It takes a lot of work to do what we're doing. But the thing is, this could be done anywhere. It would just take the time to look for, well, who can do this, who can do that, and so on. So it's not isolated, that's what I'm saying. Any, any parish can do what we're doing here.